Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. It is with a heavy heart that former Zimbabwe warrior coach Raman Gumbo has passed away in the most unthinkable ways. So many people are feeling so bad about this. I'm about to give you all the main reason that actually pushed and prompted his life to be claimed in such a very bad moment and a festive season too. Guys, yo, his family is breaking down right now. Before I give you the entire details about what exactly transpired, do also kindly follow Jam Vibes, please. Like this video, drop a comment, and above all, share this video with all of your friends and loved ones. The former Zimbabwe Warriors coach, Raman Gumbo, has tragically passed away after reportedly suffering a heart attack at his residence in Palapie, Botswana. The 59-year-old's untimely demise occurred on Thursday, mere days after his recent dismissal from Botswana's Moropule Wanderers and this has actually broken the hearts of so many people who are yet to even understand what he was going through before his heart had to attack. According to reports from the state media outlet The Chronicle, Gumbo experienced the heart attack in the presence of a son can imagine how devastating this should be right now to his own child. Despite being rushed to a hospital, his condition did not improve, leading to medical authorities to decide on transferring him to a facility in Francistown, 160 kilometers away, on Friday evening. He was immediately admitted to the intensive care unit. Regrettably, Gumbo succumbed to his condition a few hours later and this left his family devastated in tears heartbroken in disbelief literally things weren't moving on well at all at this particular point in time at a festive season when everybody needs to be happy he is passing away gumbo's wife and Zakaria Muzadzi, his assistant at Moropule Wanderers, were with him during this tragic event Muzadzi expressed his devastation, stating, and I quote, I am shattered. Gumbo's coaching career was notable and varied. He initially held the managerial position for the Zimbabwe Warriors team in 2005, but was subsequently dismissed following a 3-1 loss against Nigeria. Throughout his career, he also coached FC Platinum from 2011 to 2012 and had two separate stints as the manager of the Zimbabwe national team in 2012 and June 2019. Gumbo's journey extended beyond borders of Zimbabwe as he took on managerial roles for Gaborone United in the Botswana Premier League and Chicken Inn in the Zimbabwe Premier League. In September 2018, he was put on forced special leave by South African National First Division side with Bang Spurs due to underwhelming results. More recently, he coached Zimbabwean football club Tel One before his departure for Morupule Wanderers in Botswana, where he was until his unfortunate passing. Nobody deserves such an unfortunate departure from this world. But then again, what God has previewed for us, nobody can actually change the circumstance and condition at hand. And that is why I am actually wishing that his souls rest in perfect peace and may his family accept our wholehearted condolences because nobody deserves to lose, be it a loved one, be it a family member, a friend, you know, a brother, an uncle, you know, as lovable as this man, because in as much as he was a prominent coach, he was as well a great father figure, a great, you know, a lovable person, a sweet soul. Allegedly, he was a philanthropist for a couple of years already. I really don't know what to think about this. But then again, I want you all to tell me in the comment section your honest opinions based on all of this. And of course, send your last farewell messages to the great coach and most importantly, condolences to his family. I love you and I'm going to be reading you all in the comment section.